Hi, I'm Dr. David Weiss, and today we're going to do some prolotherapy, dry needling on a patient with chronic plantar fasciitis that has been terribly painful. There's many ways to treat this, but when we try to stay away from cortisone and we have tried the conventional things like stretching and ice and anti-inflammatories, there is something we can do called dry needling. And dry needling is literally putting a needle into the area where it's hurting. And with the plantar fasciitis, this essentially is something we call plantar fasciosis. And a plantar fasciosis is a chronic scar tissue formation within the injured area. So what the needling does is it creates little teeny holes in the scar tissue allowing blood to come in with oxygen and the body usually will heal itself uh, with people who are healthier. And I will show you how this works. So this is the area that the plantar fascia obviously is on the bottom of the foot and it attaches from the heel to the front of the foot. I have already marked off the areas of maximum pain and that is in the central part of the plantar fascia and this is the medial band. There's a large medial band and a small lateral band. And so what we're going to do is dry needle along this area. All right, you good? And here we go. We're going to do this very quickly. One, two, three, four. Good. Now what I can feel is a little resistance when I get under the skin into the plantar fascia. And we're done. That's it. Okay, we're done. And with dry needling, the most important thing is to allow the plantar fascia now to heal. And that would be trying to stay off the foot. And also, we need to make sure that the body goes through a normal inflammatory period. And that means we need to stay away from anti-inflammatories for a period of time. So for pain, if it does hurt, we can use Tylenol and sometimes ice. Um, but we try to encourage people to go through the inflammatory period, which is three or four days. And I will check on her in about two weeks, hopefully much better. Thank you.